Hey guys, what's going on? Click the pops in the house. It is Funkin' time. Uh, we have got a massive order from Mighty Toys with some Funkin' Pops to share with you guys. It is Wednesday, Thursday. It is Thursday. Got my Billy Madison shirt on. <whistles> Feeling good. Everyone's had a great day on Thursday. Uh, sorry for all the Canberrans going to a snap lockdown seven days. Mm, damn, we just had someone check in actually from Canberra. So I'm wondering if he's going to take off home at the motel or he's going to get locked out of home. Who knows? Either go home, stay here, and get locked out of home. Choice is his, I guess. But anyway, guys, let's get into this. There is a lot of pops here. So this video could go for a while. All right, first pop, Zoe, what do you want to show? I'll do this one first. What do we got? Belly Dancer Homer. Belly Dancer Homer. This one's right. There we go. There we go. Uh, these did all come in protectors too, guys. The nice, real big, thick ones. But I took them all out just to do this video. So there wasn't too much of a glare. So they did all come protected up. I did actually leave one in a protector, but we'll get to that one at the end. Alright, I've got Whiplash from Masters Universe. This guy's pretty cool. I love the green. He looks awesome. Look at that guy. Ooh, I see Skeletor. He looks sick. Got his sharp, free, sharp teeth out. He's ready for battle. Very cool looking pop. Alright, guys, there's heaps. Next, we have Toki Doki Sabotan. There's a few from that line in this drop. Yeah. She is, I have no idea what this is, but she looks cool. I'm guessing it's an anime. Some sort of anime. Yeah. That's better. Oh, there's the back. Looks cool. Nice artwork there, yeah, does look sick. Alright, next one guys, I've got, this pop is super heavy. I can't believe how heavy this pop is. But this is Crash from Crash Bandicoot 4. And this pop, guys, this weighs a ton. But he is cool, I do love Crash Bandicoot. Oh, the guys on the back. Looking cool, I do, I have the game, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2 and 3 somewhere here. But I don't, I can't, I found the case but no disc. The joy of kids. They lose the disc. But he is pretty cool and super heavy. If you threw this at someone, you would knock them out. Uh, next, let's do... Let's do this one. We got Squirtle. Diamond Glitter Squirtle. He looks good. I think that's my favourite glitter Pokemon now. The turtle, Squirtle the turtle. Diamond, Squirtle, turtle. Diamond, Squirtle, turtle, he does look sick. Mm -hmm. This is actually my first real look at him, to be honest. Very nice looking Poppy Deed. All right, next one I've got. This is sick. I was happy to get hold of this guy from the Retro Toys line. And it is Shockwave. He's pretty big in there. Like, he's really filling out that box. This is cool. I love Transformers. Oh, I love Megatron. So I actually have Megatron tattooed on me there with the Decepticon emblem. So I do love the Transformers, the bad guy. Soundwave is my favourite. But I did love how Megatron transformed into a gun, so that is super cool. So happy as to get Shocky Way. He actually is massive in there, guys. Next, we got Drummer McNugget. Funny. The McDonald's pops might hit the roof now that the glitters come out. Everyone will want to start collecting them. All the Macca's pops, maybe. I think we've got all of them. Actually, no, we don't have all the McNuggets. What are we missing off the back? We're missing Tennis McNugget, Rockstar McNugget. We're missing all the McNuggets. <laughs> we have the five pack and then the, the, the common dudes. I think we've got Birdie and then the ones that come out. And we have the Diamond. Anyway, back to this. This one a Marvel pop. We got Blade. 
blade with his two swords. This is only the second blade pop to come out. The other one's worth about 50 bucks or something like that. It was in a Marvel mystery box. You could score him in a Marvel mystery box from pop culture if you were lucky. I think we were lucky enough to get him. Mm -hmm. But this is another release of Blade. Wesley Snipes. Pretty cool. Uh, it was an awesome movie when I was a kid. Didn't really like the other ones, but I did like how Triple H was a vampire in one of them. I think it was the third, maybe. But the first was my favourite. I remember getting the... Uh, Beast to the Police London, that song that in the opening scene on a single and playing it constantly when I was a teenager because I was super cool. All right, next one. We got Black Noir. I don't know how to say that. Noir? Noir? Can't even see him. Maybe. From the boys. From the boys, yeah. The boys. The boys are back in town. Can you even see him? I can see him. Did you see him properly? Yeah, he's got a, two little little knives. Blade, yeah. blade, blade would kick his butt. Blade would kick his butt with his samurai swords. All right, next one, guys. We have from Dungeons and Dragons. This is the Xantha with the D twenty dice, which is pretty cool. See the dice in there? This guy is cool. I've never played. Dungeons of the Dragons ever, but I do appreciate a cool looking pop, and this pop looks cool. Sort of reminds me of the character from, um, oh my god, I've had a mind blank. Oh, what's this? No, Big Trouble Little China. Oh. How the hell did I forget that? Big Trouble Little China, that little monster dude that spies on them. Similarities there, but it's not him, but that's pretty cool pop. I do like that pop a lot. Next, we have Gang Orca. This guy's cool. From My Hero Academia. I'm actually thinking about something to watch that. Some pretty cool char looking characters in Pops in it. Yeah. So it could be a cool show. Could be a cool show. That is a cool pop. I like that pop a lot. Alright, next one guys we've got is a DC uh, Deathstroke. This guy looks sick, obviously in the red box. It's a nice looking poppy. Collect them all, man. I thought it was going to say something cool, but it doesn't. Just telling you to collect them all. But that is a sweet looking pop, guys. Very cool. Next, we got Cat Wolf. Marvel. Jeez, we still have heaps. So heaps, guys. Man and Wolf. He's pretty sick, Captain Wolf. Yeah. I want the Wolf Freddy that's coming out. Mm. All right, next one, guys, from the Three Musketeers, Mickey Mouse. This pop looks cool. He's got a sword there too. He's ready for battle. Who doesn't love a Mickey Mouse pop? Super cute, super cool. Super cute, super cool. Then we have Harry Potter. What's he got? Oh, he's got a key. Is he a key? Not really into Harry Potter, so I don't have no idea. Oh, he's on a broomstick, I didn't even notice that. Broomstick Harry Potter. Yeah. I've no idea about Harry Potter either. All right, next one, guys, is another DC, and it is Batman with Safe. This is pretty cool. I do like Batman. I don't ever remember seeing Batman have a Safe, though. Maybe it's from a cartoon or something. I'm not sure. Is it? But it just says Heroes Batman with Safe. I don't know. It reminds me of a pickaxe from Fortnite. That's all I think of. That's pretty sick pop. Nonetheless. And we have White Lantern. White Lantern. Well, that White Lantern looks sick. He does. He's like playing like that cool. Yeah, I really like the look of that White Lantern. Another DC pop. That's that's three DC pops now. I think Blades these. I know Blades Marvel. Interesting. Blades Marvel guys. All right, next one from Samurai Jack. The manga and this pop I actually love. This looks super cool. 
This freaking ring, what's this ring doing? Yeah. He looks unreal. Look at that. Super cool looking pop. Samurai Jack. There's a few Samurai Jack pops now. Uh, next, Toki Doki. Another Toki Doki. Caramello. Ooh, this one looks cool. She looks cool. Oh, graffiti. Yeah, Toki Doki must be becoming popular or something. I know there's one more that's. I don't know if it got dropped, but remember there was like a piece on? Alright, there's another Tokidoki in there as well. Alright, next one. I have to keep ducking here, guys. This is ridiculous. Getting us all back. Next one is a G.I. Joe, and it's Cobra Bat. He looks pretty cool, too. Got something going on in his tummy. Got another retro toy line. He's a super cool-looking pop. I love the G.I. Joe. I used to collect the G.I. Joe figurines when I was a kid. When our actually action figurines are about this big. They were super sweet. I actually think I have a few around here somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly. Which ones? G.I. Joe, not Pops, toys. Oh. Then we have the wardrobe from Be Beauty and the Beast. I didn't find any G.I. Joe's guys, but I did find these. Star Wars chick. It's missing a leg, poor thing. Battle was fierce. And I found this guy, I think this is from Masters of the Universe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's he, I don't think it's He-Man, it might be, I'm not, I don't know. I don't think it is. And then this guy, I don't know, it looks like an Avenger. This is like the size of what the G.I. Joe's were when I was a kid. And I also somehow found this thing floating around in my room. Not sure what this is doing in here. But. Anyway, back to these. We've got well, yeah, this heavy uh, one. I just did that one. <laughs> okay. I'm too busy looking at other stuff. Right, we've got this. Masters of the Universe. Robo 2. Oh, his sticker's coming off. Losing a bit of sticker debt action here. Robo 2. It's pretty cool. Plain Jane, but nice colours in there. I mean, actually, the detail is pretty good in there. His pants. Yeah. That sticker's annoying. Alright, next one. We have Mexico from It's a Small World. It's a Mexico. wonder oh, how many okay. there's going to be of these tap ones. Look at this. This is cool. He's got a little friend. There's Kenya, Japan, United States, and England on the back. Big pop arcade got a few of them the other day, didn't he? Yeah. Japan, Japan looked cool. All right, next one, guys. It's a Disney pop, and it is Kronk. And he's got a little friend there on his shoulder, like a little squirrel. That's pretty cool. This is a cool looking pop. I think that was a Kronk a while ago that's going for a little bit, an OG Kronk, maybe. I think it was Kronk, or was it Patcher? Might have been Patcher. I forget. But this is a cool pop. Pretty heavy, too. A few heavy pops in this load. We got Stanley Hudson from The Office. Never seen The Office? Nope. Have no idea. I know there's a lot of pops from The Office there. Alright, next we have Justice League, Dr. Fate. Never heard of him. But looks cool. Love the yellow cape. Very cool looking pop. Got like a gold armor on. Sorry, mate, I've never heard of you, but you do look cool. Next, we have Parks and Recreation. So much decent. Filibuster um, Leslie. Yeah, there's heaps that I realized I don't know who they are. <laughs> I don't know who this is either. No clue. This was the pop that um, Arcane accidentally had it for free. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Free pop. Who doesn't love that? All right, another marble. It's Falcon. Once again, guys, I've no idea who Falcon is. Sorry, I'm not a Marvel, massive Marvel or DC fan. 
but I do appreciate a cool looking pop and he does look pretty sick in there. He's got his wings spread. He's ready for battle. I'm not sure about his sunnies, but nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Nothing on the back, so I don't know. I oh, know nothing, guys, except it looks cool. Damn, we got Pokemon Bulbasaur glitter. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> really like his tail, but you can't see it. Wait. His tail's like a different sort of green. Is this my cousin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bulbasaur looks cool, but he looks hidden away in there. Yeah, like you have to tail like that. See, look how cool his tail looks. It's a different colour green. Need to out of box him. Hmm? Needs to be out of boxes. Appreciate him more. All right, next one, guys. Is Alice in Wonderland. That's Warus and the Carpenter. I'm famous. Little carpenter down there. Guessing he builds stuff. Looks like he's got his hammer and, and bits of wood and nails there. But this is pretty cool. Not a black light Alice in Wonderland pop, but still a cool one. Warus and the Carpenter. And this is heavy as well, guys. These are some heavy pops. Uh, we got another Toki Doki. What do you mean? Builds them all with money. Toki Doki doesn't even have a. It's an anime, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't say anime on them. Maybe it's this, and this is Star Wars. Some don't. Actually, a few don't. That one, that one. Uh, yeah, we got Sandy. I didn't even know if we got this Star Wars pop. Which is very colourful. You come out of Toki Doki in this in this drop. Three, I think. That yeah. was our third. Yeah. Sandy must dress up because there's another Sandy on there. Alright, next one Star Wars Rebels. And it is an Imperial Super Commando. Now this guy looks cool. These were sort of my the Stormtrooper were my sort of favourite figurines I had when I was a kid. So he sort of looks like a stormtrooper. I know he's not a stormtrooper, but he looks like one. But that is a cool looking pop. Just plain Jane. Very nicely done. Next we've got TDK from the Suicide Squad. Oh, what I want to show two Star Wars. That dude's missing his arm. Is that John Cena? Oh, what the? He's holding his arm. Guys, is that the person that... Is that John Cena? John Cena lose his arm. So that's how we can see him because he can't do this anymore. Because he lost his arm. Little King Shark. He's got his little thing there. Please tell me if that's John Cena, guys. And I do want that shark pop. Actually, no. Peacemaker's John Cena, I think. Yeah, TDK's not John Cena. I'm pretty sure the Peacemaker's John Cena. Peacemaker's John Cena, hey guys. That guy there in the middle next to that girl. That's John Cena, isn't it? The Peacemaker. I remember that silly helmet. Who's this guy? TDK. Someone that loses an arm. So I'm pretty sure. Let me know. Peacemaker's John Cena. Hey, guys. Please tell me. All right, next one. Star Wars. We've got Ray in brackets. Jakku or something like that. She's, she looks like she's ready for battle. She's got some sort of weapon in her hand. She's going to spin around and ax some people. Look at that weapon. Wow. Wow, she's going to kill everyone. Disney. Star Wars is Disney. Hmm. Very cool. Looking. Array. I think there's a few rays out there. Surely. We have a ray out in the shop. Alright, last one. And it is a six inch. You can show that one. And it is pretty sick. I left this one in the protector. Now, I haven't seen my Hero Academia, but this pop looks pretty cool. And it is fat gum. Thick. Very cool looking pop. The only thing I'm worried about My Hero Academia is that it's such a massive line as well, like Dragon Ball Z. There's so many of them, guys. But he's pretty cool. Very awesome pop to end the video on. Alright, so that was a massive... Funkin' Hall from Mighty Toys. If you haven't already, jump over. Give them a follow on Instagram. Check their website out. Give them a like on Facebook. They do some awesome giveaways and stuff like that too. Uh, cap shipping, 10 bucks, I think. And you spent over $200, I think it is. I think it is. I don't know, there's cap shipping with something. And if you find a price, they'll beat it. They'll beat the price, guys. So check them out. Show them some love. Uh, actually, we love Mighty Toys. Awesome, so thanks heaps. 
Loves to rock around in a Power Ranger mask. All of them. And that's it, guys. If you like we see, don't forget to... Like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell. Hit that bell, guys. Everyone's really subscribed. Thank you, guys. Heaps you guys are awesome. Uh, we love the support as much. We appreciate it. The channel can't function without all your love. So thanks, heaps, guys. You guys are freaking legends. And we'll catch you next time, guys. Until next time. Peace.